Honor Club, where honor is real. My name is Wheeler Yuta. I've been wrestling for about six years now. I turned pro when I was 16 years old, traveled the world, tried to better myself and engage in as many different styles as I could. I took to athletics at a very young age. I started playing baseball, football, basketball, everything everyone plays. I was a region champion swimmer in high school. I was also an amateur wrestler until I turned pro. Uh, that was all just done so that I could be a pro wrestler. I just wanted to be in as much athletics as possible so that I could get in that mindset. I think I first discovered wrestling when I was about four years old. My cousin showed me some wrestling on TV and I really just knew from that day forward that's what I wanted to do. I went to Villanova University in Philadelphia and the only reason I went there was because I wanted to move to Philadelphia to train with, with Drew Gulak. When I was training with uh, Drew Gulak and Hot Sauce Tracy Williams, it was really, really a lot of tough love. It's the school of hard knocks. They, they really beat that respect India for the craft, but they also teach you. They teach you uh, the proper holds, pinning techniques, and they teach you how to really be prepared for any situation. Wrestling's been really good to me in like a really short period of time. I was able to go to Japan. Uh, I was living on a mountain in Morioka in the Michinoku Pro Dojo. And there's really nothing you can do there but sit down and think about your craft, think about wrestling. We would do like conditioning workouts where we're doing pull-ups off of like a statue of Buddha, which I always, <laughs> uh, remember fondly. But yeah, being able to travel to Japan was really great. Uh, my mother's Japanese, so to be able to reconnect with my heritage as well was awesome. And then I've also been able to tour with WXW in Germany more recently. And that was, again, a very similar experience where there's nothing to do but, but wrestle and train with some of the best minds in the world. I describe my style in the ring as a decoder, where if I know who my opponent is, I try to study their patterns, study their tendencies, and then figure out what what the remedy is for that. How can I personally beat them at their own game or draw them into my game? So being able to take from even ROH stars of the past, guys like Colt Cabana, guys like Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, the ones who really traveled around to try to better themselves, that's something that I pride myself on. Jonathan Gresham is obviously the best technical wrestler in the world. I'd be a fool not to find a way to combat that. While he's been focused on you know, going as far as he can in the pure tournament, while he's been focused on rebuilding the foundation of Ring of Honor, all things that I really appreciate for what he's doing for pure wrestling as a whole, for himself, for myself. Uh, but in that time, I've been focused on decoding him. I've been focused on trying to find what those tendencies are and how I can exploit them in the ring. I know that I'm bigger than him. Uh, I know that I'm stronger than him, so I can use those to my advantage. I can also use the rules to maybe be able to draw him into breaking some of those rules, maybe being able to draw him into playing my game. That's really what I'm going for here. You know, he's trying to create opportunities for guys like me, uh, young guys that have idolized these technical wrestlers for years and years. But I would also tell him to watch his back because I'm gonna beat him. I know that he's very focused on going all the way in this tournament and I think that's gonna be his downfall because I don't think he's too worried about me, but I know exactly how I'm gonna beat him. My name is Jonathan Gresham and I am the foundation. My history in Ring of Honor started back in 2004 when I fell in love with the company. I was an amateur wrestler before, only because I thought that was the, uh, the road to take to become a professional wrestler. When I first saw Ring of Honor, I didn't just see professional wrestling. I saw something else represented, something else that I never noticed before. A collection of professional wrestling styles from around the world that were put together on one professional wrestling event. You saw strikers versus technicians, luchadors versus American high flyers. There is a difference. And those wrestlers were the identity and the essence of Ring of Honor. To me, I had to be just as good as them. So I did everything I could to essentially become just as good as them. I was always taught if you want something, you have to speak it into existence. So back in 2005, I knew where I wanted to be. I knew what I wanted for my career. And I wanted to be here in Ring of Honor. My road here hasn't been an easy one. I had to prove myself over and over and over again for years. A promoter that I worked for for quite a while he looked at me in my face and told me that you will never be known as one of the best technical wrestlers. For a lot of people, they might have uh, changed their direction, but for me, that lit a fire up under me to prove him wrong and to prove that uh, I am what I say I am. My career in Ring of Honor actually started in 2011 at the Top Prospects Tournament. I uh, wrestled against Kyle O'Reilly in the first round, which I lost. 
and that ultimately told me what I needed to do to move forward to be a part of Ring of Honor. I had to become one of the best pure professional wrestlers in the world, and that's what I did. How I did it. I did what I believed all the ones that came before me did. They traveled the world and they competed and trained with some of the best professional wrestlers in the world. And I think that's how you have to do it. I've traveled to Japan, to Germany, to England, to Mexico, to Canada, to Hong Kong and Taiwan, all in search of becoming the best pure professional wrestler in the world. In present day, 2020, myself and Jay Lethal are Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. I believe Lethal is in a class of his own. I also believe that even though we are friends and we are tag team partners and champions, I think he understands that this is bigger than the tag team championships to me. This is bigger than our friendship. This is about the next generation. This is about the existence of people like me. Wheeler Yuta is a younger wrestler I've met and competed against before on the independence. I think uh, very highly of him as he is uh, also like me. He is a pure wrestler, a technical wrestler. His coaches, Drew Gulak, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams, these guys were known as some of the best catches, catch can wrestlers in the world. They uh, had a faction called Catch Point. I think Wheeler Yuta learned a tremendous amount from these men. Facing him in the first round, I think will be a, a challenge for me. He's younger, he's probably a little bit faster, probably less beat up than I am. I'm really looking forward to uh, using my technique to best him. I believe my strength is being able to uh, dissect an opponent and figure out their weakness and exploit it. My signature maneuver is the octopus stretch. It affects the arm. I target the arm various ways. A lot of people like to use the octopus stretch, but I have perfected it. It's the most effective and most dangerous in the entire wrestling industry. What you can expect from me in this pure tournament is seeing techniques from all over the world. You can expect to see the fire and the determination that I've had for years to restore the honor that was lost long ago. You can also expect to see me do everything in my power to make sure the Pure Championship comes home to the foundation so we can reclaim our industry and reclaim this company and our rightful place at the top of it. Pure wrestlers were the foundation of Ring of Honor. And with the Pure title comes influence. And that influence gives us the opportunity to reshape this company the way we, Pure wrestlers, see fit. At a truly unique time in history, 16 men have been entered in a tournament. A tournament based on the core principles of what this company was built on. Athleticism, technique, skill, intelligence, honor. When the smoke clears, a new champion will be crowned. This is the Pure Wrestling Tournament. And this is Ring of Honor.